Hey everybody, this is Scott Grammer and I am the old audio guy and I'm going to talk to you for a minute about the magnetization of tape recorders. Now, uh, as you probably know, analog tape recorders uh, depend upon a magnetic field that is stored on tape to record and play back the music that you're listening to. And if any part of your tape deck is magnetized, it will damage these recordings. It will slowly erase the tape as the tape is played. So periodically you need to demagnetize all the parts of the tape path. And you use a tape demagnetizer for this. The one that I use is an old Sony HE2 uh, made in the early 1980s I believe. And uh, I just like this one. Uh, it has two poles whereas some of the less expensive ones use a single pole. Those are usually a little less powerful. Uh, I have a piece of tape across the center of it, which is the part that's going to actually contact the heads and things. And uh, I do this because I don't want metal touching the heads. Uh, this demagnetizer originally came with a piece of plastic here. That piece of plastic has dried up and fallen off, so I've just wrapped some masking tape around it. The first and most important rule uh, when using a head demagnetizer uh, most have a switch, uh, some just plug in and then unplug. Never turn on or off a demagnetizer anywhere near your tape deck. Always keep it at least three or four feet away when you turn it on. Folks, I'm going to stop the video here for just a minute because there is something that I forgot to say when I was recording it, and that is the number two major rule that you must follow when using a head demagnetizer. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, in the video I say tape demagnetizer, I mean head demagnetizer. In any case, uh, before you use a head demagnetizer on any tape deck, you must make sure the tape deck is turned off. In fact, it's not a bad idea to unplug it from the AC power. The reason is that the magnetic field produced by the demagnetizer is so strong that it can actually damage the playback electronics if the machine is turned on when you bring it up to the playback head. So make sure the machine is turned off, unplug it just to be sure, and then go for it. All right, here we go, back to the video. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this one and we're going to hold it at arm's length. It's going to be out of camera view. Then we'll turn it on and keep the switch on. Then we'll bring it up very slowly and we'll rub it against all the metal parts. Now this doesn't have the roller on it, but that doesn't matter. The roller is plastic anyway. All the metal parts that come in contact with the tape. We're just going to slowly, this doesn't come in contact with the tape, but I'm going to hit it anyway. This is the cap stand. And we're going to make sure that that switch is still pressed down. Go across the heads. Don't move very fast. Lifters. The other head. Lifter. Telephone. Erase head. Guide. This is the impedance idler and the other lifter arm. Then we're going to slowly move this thing back and let go of the switch when it's three or four feet away. Never ever let go of the switch while it's close to the heads. You can lay on a magnetic field so strong that you can't get rid of it and if that's the case you're going to be looking for new heads. Anyway, uh, that's enough for this one. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.